Hey y'all, welcome to Weed and Barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine, welcome to this platform. Today, praise God, it is day 20. If you are new to the channel, welcome. We are on a 21 day submission fast. We are consecrating to the Lord, praise God. This is a place where we get in the groove of the Holy Spirit. We are consecrated, we are yielded, we are obedient to the presence of the Lord and the instructions we are given, praise God. And hallelujah, we are adhering to the will of God. So as we move along in this fast, praise God, we only have one more day, y'all. We're going to continue to live a fasted life. What does that mean? I'm gonna give you those instructions tomorrow on how you can make this a lifestyle, praise God. Yes, a lifestyle of fasting, hallelujah. Because one thing that you wanna do is continue to move in the spirit. And one great way to continue to move in the spirit is making sure that this flesh stay down. This flesh stay dead, praise God. See, some people don't like sacrificing in that way. They don't like um, not having what makes them comfortable, praise God. What, what they like to eat and what they like to do and what they like to listen to and what they like to watch, praise God. Because those things make them comfortable. They feel like they are part of the world. But the point of this is we are not a part of the world, y'all, praise God. Understand. We're in it, but we're not of it. So we're supposed to be constantly walking in the spirit, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. This is the year of consecration. So I can tell you, praise God, next year, hallelujah, we're just all spirit, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because we've consecrated this year. We've died down this flesh. We've let go a lot of things, praise God. Even still, I'm still going through things. I'm still, uh, uh, and when I say going through things, I'm talking about physical things that I have to like release, praise God, that maybe I didn't release last year. Hallelujah. But the Lord is telling me to go through this process again. Go over this pro these items, praise God. Toss this, praise God. Hallelujah. Keep that. It's always this constant process of releasing, hallelujah, and some things you will keep. But what you release, remember, you are releasing it, but there's room for more. Hallelujah. And the Lord will replace what you are releasing. Let me say that again. The Lord will replace what you are releasing. Hallelujah. You just have to be patient in his process. You have to be patient in and actually go through the um, instruction, go through the test, praise God, hallelujah, the course in the mighty name of Jesus, because it's all a teaching, y'all. We're training to be more spiritual, to be more spiritual. And I'm not talking about anything outside of Christ, the Holy Spirit, God. Praise God. Hallelujah. If your mind is anywhere else, praise God. Just pray about it for yourself. Hallelujah. But what I'm talking about is the Holy Spirit, God Almighty, Jesus Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. So if you on that team, hallelujah, just go ahead and go along with us. Praise God. As we're moving along in what God is calling us to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So today's message was to be like that. To be like who? To be like the praising disciples. They were praising Jesus. When we look at chapter 19 of Luke, starting at verse 37, it reads, and as he was now approaching near the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to praise God joyfully with a loud voice for all the miracles which they had seen, saying, Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest, praise God. Glory in the highest, hallelujah. I'm just so grateful to the Lord because he's showing us that they praised him. And look at what they said. They said, blessed is the king, praise God. We have the blessed the king in our praises. Blessed you, Jesus, hallelujah. They also said, who comes in the name of the Lord, praise God. Jesus came in the name of the Lord, hallelujah. And they gave him that, they, they, they gave him that praise which was his. It belonged to him, praise God. But also they knew who he was because the Bible lets us know that the sheep of Jesus Christ will know his voice. The sheep of Jesus Christ will be able to identify him. The sheep of Jesus Christ, I'm telling you, because of the relationship we have with him, because of how we're consecrated, he can show up, praise God. We automatically know who our Lord and Savior is, praise God, because we know who the King is. We know who died for our sins. We know where salvation comes from. We will know this, hallelujah. I'm telling Telling you praise God he will speak and we will know automatically praise God hallelujah you know when the Lord speaks to me I don't question if it's the Lord I know, hallelujah. It's almost like God's name is stamped on his voice, praise God. Do you understand? Hallelujah. So I know when the Lord is speaking. Hallelujah. And when something doesn't sound right, praise God, let's say uh, there's something going on and something doesn't sound right, hallelujah. I go straight to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, <laughs> is that you? 
Praise God. Hallelujah. Because I don't play those games with, uh, 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 you know, just evil lurking and being around uh, different people and different atmospheres and not really sure uh, what they're into. Praise God. And the Holy Spirit unveils it. If he opened my eyes to see, praise God, because he's the teacher of all things and he showed me things. Praise God. If he decides to do that, then I know. Hallelujah. But if he doesn't decide to do that, I don't know. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I look at it as I don't supposed to know because he didn't show me. Praise God. Hallelujah. So I don't try to force anything or try to figure out anything. Hallelujah. I don't do those mental games, praise God. Hallelujah. It's not my business in the mighty name of Jesus. God knows his people. He knows what they're going through. He's omniscient, praise God. I'm a vessel. I am used by God. I am a laborer, praise God. I'm in the body of Christ. I'm family, hallelujah. So when he calls me forth to take care of something, praise God, on this earth, that's what I go do. I go take care of that. It's almost like getting a checklist for the grocery store. Okay, Maxine, go pick up this, 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 and this. Speak to that person, that person, that. Tell them this, 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 and this, praise God. I go do what I'm supposed to do, hallelujah. When that checklist is done, I go sit back down, praise God. I go, you know, Know, do whatever it is that I need to be doing. Hallelujah. Do you understand? Praise God. That's how I view it in obedience to the Lord. He says, do it, go do it. Praise God. And I'm telling you this because as you're consecrated to God, you don't want to step outside of the will of God, especially as you're getting closer and closer uh, in spirit. You don't want to step out of the realm of God by being disobedient because disobedient will push you back. Disobedient, praise God, hallelujah, will have you to where you don't hear the Lord's voice, praise God, hallelujah. See, some people like to tell lies and things like that, praise God, hallelujah. You know, that that is not of God. It's not um, pure. It's not a righteous, right? So that's going to push a person back from hearing the voice of God. Why? Because it doesn't resemble him. It's not in him. It's not of him, praise God. So it's going to push him back, praise God. So you have to be in the alignment and the walk of what is Christ. And the only way you're going to know what is Christ is by reading this Bible. It's the truth, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we're supposed to be like the disciples today, praising the Lord. And I pray that you were going through this fast, praising the Lord today in the mighty name of Jesus. All right, y'all. Praise God. We're going to go ahead and go to communion. That is 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23. And it reads, For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, the Lord Jesus in the night in which he betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, thank you, Lord, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took cup, he took the cup. Also, after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Thank you, Lord. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord is in, a, in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body of the, in the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself, if he does not judge the body rightly. For in this reason, many among you are weak and sick, and a number sleep. Hallelujah. We don't want to be weak. We don't want to be sick. We don't want to be sleep. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we must judge the body rightly. Now, here's one thing. A lot of people don't believe in judgment, but you do get to judge the body rightly. Praise God. You have to judge the body. Those who are saying that they are believers, those who are saying that they follow Jesus Christ, you have to be able to judge and discern rightly. And this is why it's so important for you to have a relationship with God. Because when you have a relationship with God, you are able to hear his voice and you know who belongs to him and who doesn't, praise God. It's very clear in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you're ever confused about whether or not somebody is with God or whether, uh, you know, whether or not somebody is with God, then what you need to do is go in prayer and then observe. Go in prayer and then observe, praise God, hallelujah, until you know for sure. Because a lot of times you, what you don't want to do, praise God, like this uh, scripture lets us know, is to judge the body incorrectly because the one who doesn't judge the body correctly, I'm telling you, the Bible says this, hallelujah, this is coming out of Jesus' mouth. For this reason, many among you are weak and sick and a number sleep. Praise God, hallelujah. 
In the mighty name of Jesus, let's pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, we just honor you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We come unto you as your humble children, oh Father, hallelujah. Our Father, we love you. We thank you for this day. We thank you for this journey of the 21-day fast, oh Father God. We thank you for day 20, hallelujah. As we're consecrated to you, praying, oh Lord God, speaking to you, hallelujah, receiving from you, oh Lord, meditating on your word, moving through the spirit, oh Father God, learning all that we are learning. We're just so grateful to be here in your presence. We love you and we honor you, oh Lord God. Thank you for taking us through the realms of the spirit. Thank you, Lord God, for raising us, us and up and stretching us out, oh Father God, giving us the capacity to hold more in this season. Thank you, Lord God, for your release of blessings, Father God. Thank you for your release of treasures. Thank you, Lord God, for your release of the winds, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus on our behalf. We're so grateful that you're so concerned about us, that you're thinking ahead of us, Lord God, that you've already shown us the way, Lord God. I pray that every single one of us hear your steps, oh Lord God, ahead of us. I pray that every single one of us hear your voice ahead of us, oh Lord God, that we are on the right path, oh Father God, that we are not delayed and we are not detoured, oh Father God, but we are following you in consecration in the mighty name of Jesus, that we will know your voice no matter where we are in Jesus' mighty name, that we will pick up, hallelujah, your rhythm no matter where we are in Jesus' mighty name. We love you and we honor you, oh Lord God. May we continue to praise your name like the disciples. May we continue to praise you, Jesus, like the disciples, hallelujah. May we continue to acknowledge you as our King. May we continue, oh Lord God, hallelujah, that our heart will be filled with your love, oh Lord God, that we will have love for you like never before in the mighty name of Jesus, that it continues to increase and increase and increase, oh Lord God. I pray right now that each and every one of us become great servants of yours, oh Father God, that we become great laborers, oh Lord God, that we do not get weary, we do not get tired, for we serve a God who never sleeps or slumbers, Lord God, hallelujah. Strengthen us in those areas that we need strengthen, oh Father God, I ask you in Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah, and cover your people, oh Father God, may the angels encamp all around us, oh Father God, in Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. Thank you for the angels who have charged over us, may we listen clearly, oh Lord God, as they're ministering to us today, in Jesus' mighty name, and may we do your will and obedience, in Jesus' name. We pray. Hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. We love you, God. We love you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. I just want to share with you uh, to, to continue to move on this path. Praise God. I got a little tongue tied right there. But continue to move on this path, y'all. God is so good and he's just blessing us, y'all. And I'm just so grateful that uh, he has chosen us to do this fast. And for those of you who are just seeing this for the first time, praise God, there are 21 days of this fast. You can go back, you can watch the videos, you can start at day one, and you can move right along with this because you're going to receive out of this if you hold to it, praise God. And I'm not saying that you have to be perfect because there are some days, praise God, you might uh, mess up or you might uh, mix something up or something like that, praise God. And, you know, you just go to the Lord and you speak to him about it, praise God, and he'll, you know, it, it, that's between you and him. Hallelujah. But what I can say to you, as long as your heart is pure and you're trying your best to move along this fast and just consecrate to the Lord, because this is all about the relationship we have with God, submitting and yielding to the Holy Spirit so that we can be in our rightful positions because we have work to do. And so as long as we have this mindset and we have work to do and we're going to get out here and do the work, praise God, hallelujah, and we're going to be obedient to the call of the Lord no matter where he's taking us, praise God, we're going to be all right, y'all, hallelujah, because we're in the body of Christ, we have access to heaven, y'all, we're citizens of heaven, so we're going to be all right, praise God, I just pray that the Lord strengthen you along your path and you continue to do what God has called you to do. All right, y'all. I will see you tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Praise God for day 21. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. Praise God. Don't forget to continue to praise even after the 21 days. Praise God. Continue to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As the disciples did. Be like that. Praise God. Because I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure they're continuing to praise him now in heaven. Hallelujah. They're, con they're continuing to give him glory. Praise God. And that's what we're going to do when we get there. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're going to continue to praise him. Hallelujah. Why? Because he deserves it. He earned it, y'all. He paid for it. Praise God. Hallelujah. He is our King, our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. If anything else, praise God, that we give, we best to give that praise. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that you are blessed, y'all. Peace and blessings until next time.